Atheism is not a belief, but the mere lack of belief is what our atheist friends keep telling us. But if that's true, then atheism faces a tough logical hurdle, and in this video I will tell you why. Hi, I'm Lucas from Deflate, and this apologetics channel is all about pointing out why faith wins. Click that subscribe button and the bell to make sure you get my future videos. If atheism is nothing but the absence of any belief or claim about God, this basically means that to speak of Atheism is to describe a psychological condition, namely the condition that the proposition God exists is not to be found in the atheist brain or mind. And if atheism is essentially the absence of the proposition God exists, then carrots, the Eiffel Tower and butterflies are atheists too. Now a psychological condition is of course not the same thing as a claim. The difference may not be self-evident, so let me illustrate this with an example. Let's say I go hiking in the Swiss Alps with my wife and suddenly I spot an eagle. Me getting excited and going wow while pointing to the sky is representative of a psychological state, namely the state of excitement arising from the experience of spotting the eagle. It's not a truth claim about the eagle. However, when I put up a post on my Facebook wall that says, I saw an eagle in the Alps today, I'm making a claim to truth, namely that eagles, or at least one eagle, exists in the Alps and that I went hiking there today. Psychological states and truth claims are two categorically different things and one of their key differences is this. Only claims have what philosophers call truth value. In plain English, this basically means that claims can be true or false. Psychological states, however, cannot be true or false. Instead, they just are. Going back to my example, it would be absurd to ask whether my excitement about that eagle is either true or false. Instead, my excitement, like any other psychological state, such as anger, frustration or joy, just is. On the other hand, me posting I saw an eagle in the Alps today entails a proposition that is either true or false and its truth can be verified, namely by checking whether there are eagles in the Alps and whether Lucas really went there today. Now let's say I go hiking but don't spot an eagle which does not cause me any excitement. Surely it is the height of absurdity to suggest that the absence of that excitement is true. And that's because, again, only claims can have truth value. Only claims can be true or false. This does not and cannot apply to psychological states. Even less so to psychological states that don't actually happen. Which brings us right back to the atheist's claim that atheism means the absence of the claim God exists in the atheist's brain. Categorically speaking, this turns atheism into exactly the same thing as me not experiencing excitement after not spotting an eagle on my hike. But then again, who would even think about discussing whether psychological states that don't happen are true or false? And so, if an atheist defines him or herself essentially as a person whose psyche doesn't feature the thought God exists, it follows that it is logically impossible for their atheism to be true because psychological states simply have no business with truth value. Now if that's atheism's ordeal, how could it possibly make any logical sense for a person to both claim that they care about truth and to call themselves atheists at the same time? So if you're an atheist and care about logic, here is your dilemma. Option 1. You may continue to define atheism as a psychological state by virtue of which you logically and conclusively wave goodbye to the possibility that atheism might actually be true. However, you're then entangling yourself in a self-contradiction if you keep making counter-arguments to theistic arguments because of the simple fact that counter-arguments are claims to truth. And how is it consistent for an atheist to make claims to truth when atheism has nothing to do with truth in the first place? The other option is this. 
Atheists may accept the classical definition of atheism as being an actual claim to truth. That is, the claim that God's existence isn't plausible, or if you want, the denial of the claim that God's existence is plausible. Armed with this definition, atheists face no consistency problem when countering theistic arguments. However, this also means that there is no more running away from the responsibility to offer evidence for their own position. So what type of atheist are you? The psychological state type atheist? Or an atheist with the guts to admit that his or her atheism is an actual claim to truth? If it's the latter, you stand on solid logical ground to fire away with your arguments against God's existence. And I'm looking forward to your comments. If you're just a psychological state type atheist, you're of course just as welcome to comment and fire away with your objections to God's existence. However, by virtue of doing so, you'd be throwing out your commitment to logic. Or to put it differently, you'd be as credible as someone who argues that my excitement about seeing that eagle is not true, whatever that means. Talking of excitement, get excited to watch this video which is all about the question, who created God? What I will tell you there is the answer is very simple and that it actually reveals a crack in the atheist worldview. Please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.